guys welcome back to my video today is going to be a shopping haul originally it was going to be all edicted like just an edicted shopping haul but while i was editing this video i went shopping with my boyfriend and i also had a sephora haul i wanted to show you guys so and then i also bought a letterman jacket from urban outfitters just now today after i filmed my original edicted haul also look at my dog's haircut he got a haircut and he looks so funny <laughs> Sorry, bud. Okay. And also you're gonna see me change my hair and outfit in the middle of this because I'm filming like the haul and then like this separate haul on different days. Anyways, let's get right into it. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna show you is this Letterman jacket. Originally, I wasn't going to get it because I don't think I'd ever wear a Letterman jacket, but it just looks so cool I had to. The dog days are over. And it's a men's large, so I showed it to my little brother, and if he likes it, we can share it, because I also like it. But it says National Basketball Association on the front, and then on the back, it just has a bunch of, like, basketball teams, and I thought it was really cool. And because of my boyfriend, I've gotten into basketball a little bit more, so I just thought this was really cool. Next is the Sephora haul. The Sephora, everything from Sephora was, like... So the total for Sephora came out to be like 330 and 210 of those were on moisturizers. So I got the Drunk Elephant Polypeptide Cream Moisturizer, the one where you like pump it and then it like comes up. I was gonna get the purple one. I forgot what the purple one was called, but they were sold out of that one. So I got this one because my boyfriend wanted this one. So this one's for my boyfriend, but I also get to use it. Next is a moisturizer that I wanted, which is the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. I thought there was a bigger size than this, but this is the one I got. I have yet to try this. Last but not least, I got the Tatcha. This one's the water cream. It has something to do with like helping your pores out and my pores are massive. Originally, I was gonna use this one for myself, but I think I'm gonna give it to my mom for Mother's Day. It comes like this and it has like a little spoon thingy on top that you can use to like put on your face. I wanted to at least try this one once, but I think I'm gonna just get myself another one next time and then give this one to my mom. So yeah, these are our three moisturizers that we got. Next, I got this The Ordinary, it's the salicylic acid peeling solution thing. I got this one because I heard it helps with like redness and pores or something, and I have a lot of redness on my face. You can't tell now because I put on like color correcting the Dr. Jard's Kika Pear Cream and then the glow screen, so it kind of canceled out my redness in my face, but I heard this one also helps with it, so I got this one. This one is the Glow Recipe Strawberry Pore Smooth Blur Drops that kind of like act as a primer. I feel like I have a lot of things that act as a primer that I just layer onto my face, but none of them are like pore blurring, so I got this one to try out. Looks like this. I'm not gonna try it now because I already have makeup on, but I'm excited to try that out. I got this one because I saw a comparison video on TikTok of like before and after using this one, and the after, like there's actually a difference. And then second to last is just a facial cleanser from uh, First Aid Beauty. I used their moisturizer and uh, face cleanser a long time ago, like together, and it never left my skin smoother. But for Christmas this year, I got a bunch of facial cleansers and I haven't bought it again. But I thought I'd give it another try. But yeah, I definitely recommend First Aid Beauty products. They've never let me down. I have like their oatmeal mask, face cleansers, moisturizers, you name it. And then I got this as a birthday gift. It's the Ilia, I think it's just mascara. I think it's a blush stick. Yeah, this one looks like a blush slash lipstick stick. And then this one's the mascara. Today I'm back with another shopping haul. This time it's just from one brand and then like a bonus one at the end just cause I bought it and I loved it. But today's haul is from Edicted. Also I made some exchanges because some of the sizes didn't fit me properly. So we're kind of waiting on that, but I'm gonna add that to the video once it gets here. So if I'm wearing like a different look and outfit, just know that's why. First thing I have is a black croc set, like faux croc set. I'm sure you guys have seen this. It's pretty popular, I think. I've seen it a lot on like influencers. The thing that made me want to get this is the girl that I saw wearing this, her boobs looked amazing. So the front is just a zip up and then the back part is like a corset lace deal going on, which I like that. So I got this in an extra small and it was a little bit tight at first when this was fully closed, but if you just open it like this, then it fit like perfectly. It also has like these 
things. I guess if you want to adjust it to be lower or higher up. I also love this textile. And then I got the matching skirt as well. I got the skirt in an extra small because I was scared that the waist would be too big and the waist still is too big. I'll show you guys. It's hard to explain it, but if you pull it down a little bit and it becomes low waisted, then it fits. But then the skirt's too long. Like it's longer than I want it to be. It's not good. I don't know if it's going to make sense. I'll just show you guys when I put it on. have to take a moment because this set is literally so flattering if you guys don't have this set you need to get it like it's insane how like how much i'm feeling myself next is another black set i'm sure you guys have seen me in this green version of this top it's on my instagram and sometimes my profile pictures i got the black version of this but this time i got it with the skirt the green one also had a skirt set that it came with but i didn't get the skirt this black set though is amazing the back and arm sleeves are sheer but when you tie the ties at the front gives you coverage and it's not sheer it's like double line on where it goes over the chest so and the skirt oh my god i'm in love with this skirt it has drawstring thingies that you could pull and it brings the skirt up a little bit but yeah i love this set so much <laughs> Next, I got, this is my most least expected favorite, but I didn't expect to love this dress. I knew I'd like it, but I didn't expect to love it. It looks a little awkward now, but you'll see when I put it on. It is so flattering. And it's such a cute dress that I could wear everywhere, like on the beach, on a cute date, to a nice dinner, girls day out, all that stuff. But it's a little bit short in the back, which I didn't mind that at all. But this dress is so cute. I don't remember if it was see-through, so I guess we'll see when we do the try-on. Yeah, this is probably my favorite thing I got from this haul. Next is a cute little pajama lounge set. I'm wearing the shorts right now. This stuff is super see-through like you can't hide anything both the shorts and the tank top have a cute little like lace and bow detailing i've been looking for a lot of like cute lounge sets and stuff like that because when i'm home i pretty much just wear like my boyfriend's shirts and then shorts that i don't ever want to be seen wearing out <laughs> but i thought like it'd be cute to finally get some cute pajamas lounge set sleepwear that kind of stuff Also, if you guys have not tried the human bean, you guys should. They have literally the best matcha I've ever had. Also, the shorts are really short, which I guess is kind of my fault because I got these in an extra small. But it didn't bother me enough that I wanted to exchange it. Like, I just like it how it is. But yeah. Next up is this pink play suit. It is super cute. But it is also, once again, a little bit short in the back. It's something that I have to keep bringing down when I walk around. But it wasn't too big of a deal for me to want to return it or exchange it. I got it in the extra small because I was scared the waist would be too big. I thought there'd be too much fabric in the back. So the extra small is fine the way it is. There's this cute crisscross thing going on in the back. I recently got a play suit from Aritzia. And I wear it so often, I thought I'd want to get another play suit. But this time in a color pink. And it's so cute, like... I just feel like this is so me. The last thing I have for Addicted right now are... It's also kind of like a loungewear set, but this is something I'd wear out. Like to the movies or to the airport where I'm going out and being seen in public, but I want to be comfortable. So the bottoms are like this flared, super soft and comfortable thing. But they have this like waistband thing that you fold downwards and you can pull it down and make it low waisted, which is how I like to wear it. And I think this looks really flattering for my butt. And then the top has a hood. I really like the hood. I don't think I'd ever use the hood, but I like how it has one. And then it has double zippers. The model wore this top. Like, so they zipped it up and then wore it like this. That's probably how I'd wear it too, but they did like half the bottom zipped up and then half the top zipped up a little bit or zipped down a little bit. 
And this is cropped. It's still a bit long in my opinion for it being cropped, but I'm not complaining. It's literally so cute, comfortable, and flattering. The only problem with wearing this is that it's getting hot in Texas now. And those of you who live in Texas probably understand what the Texas heat is like. I don't know where to wear this to. Like I, I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna wear this in the summer, but it's pretty hot to wear in the summer. Last but not least, so I got this dress from American Eagle, a girl on TikTok that I follow. I can't remember her name right now, but she wore this dress and she made it look so flattering. I got it myself and I love it. I got it in the size extra small, but it's still pretty big and it has pockets, um, which is great. It is double lined and this top layer kind of feels heavy. So I don't know how it do in the summer heat. You know what I mean? Like it feels like there's no room to breathe in it, but it is very flowy. I don't have a dress like this where it's like a long flowy maxi dress for the summer. The back you can tie and then the front looks like this where you can tie the string behind your neck. You can cross it like this way. I'll just show you because I'm bad at explaining things, but even though it's double lined, it's see-through. I made a TikTok about this and I realized like it's a little bit see-through, which is crazy considering it's double lined and feels like it's not really breathable, but this is probably something I'd wear as a cover up to the beach. So it's not that big of a deal. And then I also got this top from Edicted. I've been looking for a lot of like festival wear for Lollapalooza coming up. And I saw this top and thought it was really cute. There was a matching skirt that went with it, but I didn't really like this skirt. I could imagine how it looked on my body type. And I know that those kind of skirts don't look flattering on me, so I didn't get it. But yeah, it kind of looks like a bikini top, but it's super cute and comfortable. that's it for today's video thank you guys so much for watching sorry this video was all over the place i didn't i honestly did not expect to do my sephora haul in this video and then also get a letterman jacket but once again thank you guys so much for watching and tuning in and supporting me and i hope you guys like the video don't forget to like subscribe and leave a comment down below if you liked my video let me know what you guys would like to see next i'm always in the market for new content ideas other than shopping hauls but yeah i'll see you guys next time bye